Hey y'all, welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. My name is Corey Ashton here at Webtegrity in San Antonio, Texas. And today we are going to be looking at a brand new page builder that I'm familiar with. It's not new to the market by any means, but Mario and a couple of other awesome subscribers have asked me to look into the Beaver Builder and you know, I'm all about learning new stuff every once in a while. Y'all seriously surprised me with coming up with some cool ideas for me to take a look at. This is a, a page builder plugin for WordPress. So what that means is a lot of times uh, whenever you're dealing inside of the dashboard, it looks more like a Word document environment. And it's not super easy to make really cool layouts and columns and add cool kind of a fancier structure. Uh, to, to inner pages, especially inner pages of your website. A lot of times a theme has a really nice dynamic home page layout, but then your inner pages kind of get a little boring and you might want to spice things up a little bit. How can you do that easily? The easiest way to do it is definitely with a page builder. And there are a couple out there that I've already reviewed that I think are fantastic. There are a few out there on premium themes that have their own type of page builder. The Avada theme has the fusion builder inside of it. So same concept, if you guys can wrap your brain around that. This one's called Beaver Builder. This one's interesting though because it has a free version that's pretty spectacular on its own and then it has an upgraded version. So we're first going to look at the free version today. So let's jump in here. The free version is Beaver Builder plugin, the light version. Now of course remember that if you're running on WordPress.com you're not able to plug this in. This is only available in the self-hosted version of WordPress. So you'd go to plugins and you'd click add new and then you just go do a quick search for Beaver Builder or whatever you'd like to do there and then this is the little guy that you're looking to install. Always remember to be sure to check if this is later on down the road and you want to be sure that this is still a good plugin to use. You want to be sure it has great reviews. You want to be sure that it has a lot of active installs and you also want to be sure that it's been updated recently and works well with your current version. Now this one says it's untested with 4.6.1 which is the version I'm currently running. But it has outstanding reviews and I know I've already played around with it, so it's pretty great. So I'm going to go ahead and install it and then activate it. Once you do that, here you go. This is what it looks like. Check this out, you guys. Um, I have a lot of students that take my class and they think to them, they, they actually tell me, listen, I've heard WordPress is super easy to use, but why can't it just be like drag and drop and you actually see it in almost real time instead of having to go back and forth between screens and, and go to the back side and do the edits and then go to the front side and refresh. It's just kind of irritating. Well, Beaver Builder solves that problem for us. Check this out, you guys. I'm going to go to my About Us page. Well, let me go to a page that you guys actually, I haven't activated it yet so you can see what this looks like. Let's click Add New. And we're going to do a test for Beaver Builder. And check this out. See this extra tab we have right here? That's because I have the Beaver Builder activated. So I'm going to say Page Builder. I'm going to click on that. And it's going to allow me to play around with different template styles if you want. They've got a couple of layout things. I'm going to cancel that for now and just show you what it looks like. Notice right away, it doesn't leave me inside of my usual editor dashboard. I don't have my publish button over here. What it does is it takes me to the front side of my website. And it allows me to build the page right here in the live version of the front side of my website that all my visitors can see. And of course, they can't see me right now as I'm building this. But I get to see the header, my sidebar, my footer, my design. I get to see everything else kind of around my content. And I get to see that in the environment as I build this page. So let's go ahead and um, grab a two column layout. Drag it over and drop it. Now I've got these two columns to put anything I want to inside of. And in order to do that, again, you would choose from your options over here, advanced modules or basic modules. If you want just a, a, a text editor, I can drag it over and drop it in here. And I can add a picture if I wanted to. Let's just go through here and see if I have a, a cool photo I can add. Insert into post and save. So now I've got my image on the left side. And let's say I want to add content and put some text on the right side. and click Save. Now, these boxes here, as you edit them, these boxes here obviously look exactly like our, you know, our dashboard that, that we're used to, having a, a visual and a text nerd code mode. And you've got all these different options that you're used to. So you would treat this the exact same as though it were a, an actual uh, just dashboard area. 
and you can put everything in here side by side and instead of having a button that says publish you've got a button that says done and it gives you a few options do you want to go ahead and publish these pages do you want to save and ed exit do you want to discard changes and exit or cancel so for now I'm gonna go ahead and publish my changes um, it's that simple you have a drag and drop environment as well so if we wanted to continue making changes to this we would click page builder now we're in here and it activates the uh, opportunity for us to hover over things and make changes so if I wanted this image to move to be a full width I can just drag it up to create a new row and now it's going to expand out the full width of my page allowing me to put something else in here or if I wanted this text to now go full width I can drag and drop it as well and it would enter in and go full width and then I can just remove these things I don't know I'm pretty impressed so far with the ease of use and a lot of our students here at WebTagrity have asked repeatedly for the opportunity to see it in a live environment as you're building your pages and this really accomplishes that for you uh, let's take a look at a couple of the other things obviously this is the light version of the plugin if you wanted to pay um, and we'll get to the price here in a second if you wanted to pay for the premium version here's what you get and I challenge you to come over here and try this demo you can just click that button and you don't have to give them any information you're literally just gonna come over here uh, click try demo and it's going to open this up for you to go play with so I was impressed with what you get for the price tag here uh, again they let you just kinda see a layout that's already created and let you click on drag and drop and make changes to you know if you wanted to make changes to any of this you can easily do that um, but what you get inside of the paid option this is what you get with the free option you still get the rows and columns you still get all the basic modules but what you get in the paid option are all these advanced modules that allow you to have the countdown that you see happening here these types of little functions uh, a menu a number counter uh, add in your posts so all your blogs can sit inside of a page which is really cool and you've got a couple of different layout options there so uh, you can put in a sidebar, a slideshow, social media buttons if you wanted something like that. It's literally just a drag and drop into things. Do we want it to be, um, you know, a, a custom URL right there? You can do that. You want the alignment on the left. You even have advanced options for adding in extra padding. All this looks pretty cool. Check this out. If, if I oh, go back here for a second and I'm going to say current page, that's fine. Save. And allows for the social media sharing options to be there so they can like this page tweet this page or, or plus this page those types of things really are extremely valuable and a lot of times especially if you're running on a free theme you don't have cool options like this so adding in even the light version of this page builder could definitely get you somewhere here's what we go we want to look at now so what does it cost this is where it comes a little bit of a gut punch. The standard price, the lowest price you can get for this is the $99. Now, remember there is a free version that's pretty spectacular on its own, but this paid version allows you to have all those premium modules and some templates in there, which is pretty outstanding. And then of course it kind of goes up from there. Uh, what's cool though is it is unlimited sites. So uh, please be aware of that. It's not just on one website. The second you pay for uh, the premium version of this plugin you can put it on as many websites as you're building so if you think of it that way the value is actually pretty extraordinary and you get fantastic support as well um, so any questions that you might have about this I want to challenge you to connect with Beaver Builder first these guys offer incredible support for their plugin I am not their support team but if you have questions about functionality or kinda how to do more advanced things how to do more layouts uh, put those in the description box below I'll try to do another video on the Beaver Builder I'm pretty impressed with it you guys even the free version is pretty spectacular plug it in try it on your website let me know what you think I'll talk to you soon have a great WordPress Wednesday bye y'all